Well, a very nice example of a uh, characteristic uh, style Dalton Lambeth teapot. Um, it's got some nice um, moulding on this one. Uh, most of them, if we just turn it upside down and show you, have a design name or pattern number on them. This one's got absolutely nothing on it. I just wondered if this made it through QC because it has got quite a large firing crack along the base. It isn't actually right the way through I don't think or maybe it is but I don't think this has ever been used which is probably why it survived in such good condition so many of these the spouts being repaired or damaged badly but this one's pristine as is the handle and all other details on it there's no sign of any wear on it and no staining inside to suggest it's been used but I would draw to your attention it probably is not usable because of this firing crack along the base Nice hunting hounds along the bottom, uh, Georgian looking, looks rather like a sailor really doesn't he, or certainly an infantry man in his tunic with an oversized pipe there, and uh, orchard tree on this side. More dogs in relief around the brown upper aspect of the uh, the rim of the uh, the uh, centre of it, and just I don't know what that fellow is supposed to be, again another Georgian looking fellow probably a merchant or a drinker, and then the windmill on there as well. And same with the lid, deep characteristic Booze Lambeth teapot lid, um, vent hole in the centre, no repairs on this at all, in very fine condition, and nice and clean with uh, three blocks of hunting dogs motif around the outer aspect. Lovely piece for display. I wouldn't use this because of the firing crack. We do draw your attention to that, but in terms of display, and collectors of Booz Lambeth, I think this is going to be uh, quite popular at the price we're going to offer it at. Available on the uh, Vintage and Antiques website. If you follow the uh, link in uh, um, the YouTube listing below. Sorry, I'm forgetting where I'm posting these two. I need to go and have a lie down and a cup of coffee, I think. If you follow the link below anyway, it'll take you through to the Vintage and Antiques website listing for this teapot. Thanks for watching.